I'm lagging hard over here. Hello, hello. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Doing a quick little build this morning of the Star Wars, Lego Star Wars Micro Fighters for 2021. Uh, this shouldn't take long, especially because I've already completed one third of them with the Micro Millennium Falcon, which looks great. So now all I have left is the ATAT -AT and the Tauntaun. So, without further ado, I think we should get into this. Okay. This shouldn't take long. It's only 200, 205 pieces. So it's not, uh, it's not the most extensive build in the world. It's a good little size though. There we go. Okay, two bags, two instruction books. Which one should I do first? Let's do the ATAT -AT first, since that is bag number one. That thing is cute, says Andrew. We're talking about the Micro Falcon, this guy right here. It's super cute. Okay. So we got the helmet for the pilot. Now we gotta find his head. There it is. Bam. There's legs somewhere for him. There's the stud shooter. The stud shooter that needs this. These are cool, these little stud shooters. Little handheld stud shooters. Hey, I hit my phone, that was perfect. All right, where are your legs, Mr. Pilot Man? There they are, looking for the wrong color. Okay, there he is, the ATAT -AT Pilot. All right, let's get it going. Like I said, this shouldn't take very long. They're only about 100 pieces each. I'm assuming they're actually 200 and some odd pieces combined. So I'm just guessing that it's about half and half. I'm a stud shooter and yeah, the mini Falcon. Andrew, you are a stud shooter. I don't know what that means, but if anybody was one, it's you. Uh, speaking of studs, Andrew, when are we finishing the roller coaster? Do you have any idea how hard it is for me to walk into that room every day and look at that half finished roller coaster? It's brutal. Moving on. Ooh, that roller coaster has just been haunting my dreams. That's not the right piece. That's not the right piece. Where is the right piece? 
Come on, there's not that many pieces. How am I doing this? How am I screwing this up? Hello? Hello? There you are. Wait for, no, can't be that color. There you are. Eventually. Getting ready for May the 4th. All sorts of promos coming out for that. I already pre-ordered a couple of the, the uh, Star Wars Helmet series. I got the Scout Trooper and the Darth Vader Helmets. Which will go very nicely with my collection. Pretty excited about that. Those come out tomorrow, actually, I think. Which means I gotta go to the Lego store after work again. I'm not complaining. As much as I love to complain, I would never complain about going to the Lego store. Because it's awesome. Let me take a sip of my coffee. <sighs> Coffee's good for you. I don't know if you knew that. I'm not joking either. It's not good to be addicted to caffeine, but the stuff in coffee that's in the actual coffee beans has been linked to a 50% decrease in all mortality. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? The mortality rate of somebody who drinks one cup of black coffee every day is like 50% less than somebody who doesn't. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I only ever heard this fact like twice. Okay, we're almost halfway through the AT, at Why would I put that in after? Okay. Hooky, hooky. Hooker. Woo, boy. I'm excited because today is my only day off. And I'm just going to build Lego, I think, all day. I have so much to do. But I gotta be careful because sometimes I get excited and I think, oh my gosh, I have so much Lego, I'm never gonna run out. And then I do. Because eventually, we always run out of Lego. Coming together. Come together. Do, 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 do. Go, 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 micro fighter. These micro fighters are actually really cool and they're super inexpensive, which is great. Super high playability factor. Fun little builds also. Which is what I'm all about. I don't really play with my Lego that much. More of the build and display type. I'm also more of the throw my phone on the ground type. I can't believe that didn't stick. Literally, you had one job. Just stick. It's a suction cup. Come on. 
come on. I even put you on a specific smooth material so that that wouldn't happen. I think I need a new one. I gotta clean the suction cup or something. I don't know. I don't know how all that stuff works. We can, oh, the roller coaster. Andrew's talking about the roller coaster. He says we can finish it after work this week. Sorry, this weekend got busy. It's all good. It's all good. At this point, I'm not expecting to, uh, to finish it, um, in one sitting. I think we, we probably have two more. Although, maybe I'll do one bag before you come over. I'll let you do the last two bags anyway, so maybe I'll just do one. And that way, ne next time you come over, we can definitely finish it. Because I definitely want to finish it. It drives me crazy, dude. I want to see that roller coaster go around on the track. I want to see that... That action. The roller coaster is uh, my third biggest set, I believe. Behind Hogwarts and Diagon Alley. Freaking Diagon Alley. I was so bitter about Diagon Alley when I was building it. I was so upset. I was like, I wasted my money. I don't even like this thing. But it does look pretty good on display. Let me just make sure nobody's over here. Uh, Legend Robot 29. Hi. Sorry if uh, you said hi like 20 minutes ago and I didn't get back to you. I'm not very good about that. I get distracted by all my Lego. But thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. Checking it out. So I'm definitely excited for May 4th. May the 4th be with you. And also with you. I'm super excited to see all of the stuff that's coming out. Did I do this wrong? No, I didn't. Oh, oh, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Where was I? Here. There we go. There we are. Doodle -doo -doo. Couple of these, couple of these, and a couple of them. Wait, we got the round side forward. I really find it um, super interesting how they can get detail on such a small scale like this. I'm trying to figure out how this works. I can't just, there's nothing to grab. Huh? Oh, wrong suction cup. That makes more sense. Because this one... Hold the wrong part again. This one can actually grab. Okay. Okay. Mission. I mean, crisis averted. There it is, the at, -AT head. Actually, I think it goes this way. Hello. Hello, Tessie. Have you come to talk about Star Wars with me? Ah, they even linked the head, the neck and the head. That's awesome. Free range of motion for the head. So good. So good. Jeff, I don't know, but I know I'll be home earlier than last night. Cool. Might see Jeff later. That'd be great. Alright. 
let's get back at this. So there's the body and the head for the ATAT. -AT. Now we got to make the feet. I'm assuming that's what these four suction cups are for. We need all four of those, and we need all four of these little darker gray ones, and four of the grabby claws. So we're definitely doing legs, and we got to do this four times. Oh, and four of these. Okay, we're going to stick the two... What did I call these? Suction cups? I don't even remember what I was just referring to these as. Dishes? Satellite dish type thing? There's an actual name for these parts, and I can't think of what it is right now. Oh, I'm such a bad Lego fan. Ah, yes, yes. The legs. Sweet. Okay, so I just gotta do that four times. Shoot. Hello. Tessie's a big fan of Lego. Almost as big a fan as I am. Come on, Tess. Is, it, is that right? Or are you a bigger fan? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, look at how cute these little legs are. Ah, I love these. I wish they came out with more of them this year. Three micro fighters is such a random number. Like, there's nothing to counterpart the uh, Millennium Falcon. Look at how cute he is. Ah, I love it. I love it. Uh, binoculars are for you. And you can stand in here. Or sit. You can sit in here. Aha! One down. Got these studs for the stud shooter. And then those are extra parts. Oh, big hugs. Alright, one down, one to go. What do we have? 20 minutes. Perfect. Perfect. Now, this is the part I'm really excited about. The Tauntaun, because this Tauntaun looks so good, and it's a, such a great size. Right. I think Luke Skywalker is this guy right here. In his Hoth outfit. So he's got that like thing around his face to keep warm. Oh, and the hat. We need the hat. A little bit of a bummer. Um, these new Lego minis have two faces a lot of the time. So you have two different expressions. You can see we got happy and we got like more serious. Unfortunately on this character, some of his face shows under his helmet in the back. See that? I kind of wish they could have just cut that helmet a little bit lower. Because it does kind of ruin the illusion. Then we gotta put the goggles on him. And what's kind of cool about this helmet is you can put the goggles on his face or you can put the goggles on the rim of his hat. Like that. Or you can do both and make him look silly like that. Let's go with uh, goggles on for this part. All right, another stud shooter, which is fine. I have nothing good or bad to say about stud shooters, really. That's not true. I have <laughs> I have good and bad things to say, <laughs> but I'm I am undecided on whether or not I like the the stud shooters. I definitely like them better than a lot of the other methods, like the flick fire stuff. The only thing that I 
don't like about the stud shooters really is that well it's in the name it shoots a stud and these things can get lost very very easily so every time i launch one i immediately have to go find it or else it'll be gone forever or tessie will steal it and hoard it okay let's do this I already did that part sometimes well not sometimes i never look at the instructions for the minifigs when i see one in the bag i just put them together usually unless there's like a few of them and i don't know which color pants to put with who but every once in a while they fuck, they surprise me with something in that minifig bag or in that minifig build i should say So what I'm saying is I should read the instructions more. Hold on. And uh, there's no more music coming from Pretzel, which is great. It means this song has like minutes of silence at the end, like so many do on this. It's okay. It just means you can hear my voice clearly. My Tom DeLong voice. Oh, uh, oh, he. There it is. Minute of silence, but we're back. We're back with the pretzel. No, not with the pretzel. With the pretzel app, with the music. Okay. You tried to escape me. Where's your twin brother? There you are. Or sister. Don't assume. Oh, that's flipped over. That makes more sense. And a one by two right behind it. can't really tell what's what on this tauntaun yet but it's going to come together rather quickly I promise okay this four of these one two three four of those now Two of these. One, two. Oh, I didn't make his lightsaber. Oops, sorry, Luke. Sorry, Luke. See, that's what I mean. When I don't follow instructions, I forget to do things like build Luke's lightsaber. Get a, a stud shooter, so I was all occupied mentally with that. I need more coffee. I'm not awake yet. Nothing better than black coffee in the morning. I love this song.
I don't know who uh, makes the music for these these apps, but uh, they're pretty pretty good at it. What I like, one thing I like, not what I like, one thing I like a lot about these micro fighters is uh, there's no decals. Ooh. Yay, no decals. Which means I don't have to get frustrated. Oh, okay, now we can start to see the shape taking place. This is the tail. These are going to be the arms. See it? Let's get a little closer. The tail. It's going to be the head. The arms. Watch me be completely wrong about that. We're going to build the head right now, so we'll, we'll find out. Cheese wedge. Another cheese wedge. And it's not a piece. Do 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 She's shedding like crazy right now because it's springtime. Haha! Look! It almost looks like a Tauntaun head. Oh, we gotta put an eyeball on. Alright. Eyeball. That eyeball does not look like the eyeball in the picture, but that's okay. I'm assuming the same thing on the other side. pretty good tried to make the eyes both look the same on both sides oops tauntaun head that looks pretty good actually oh and now we got this which goes into here and here, this is the reins for the Tauntaun. This is cool. Oh, and then we got his horns. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. And then this goes on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks great. That looks dope. We are very, very close to being done. One, two, one, two, one, one. One, one. I'm just assuming I'm going to do this twice. It doesn't tell me to do it twice. But it's probably once one way and once the other way. And that's exactly what it is. Because these are the Tauntaun legs. 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 to it. There's more to it. 
There's that piece, and then there's this piece. Okay, that's cool. Nice couple tile pieces to really smooth off that tauntaun leg. Man, that looks great. I'm pretty stoked on this. Okay, now we got to do the other side. And I already separated all the pieces because I knew I would have to do this again. On what they call a psycho. Bam. Hoaba. Hoaba. And this. And this. The lightsaber can be held. It wouldn't be on though, so that's kind of silly. These could be like that. Bam! The Tauntaun, the ATAT. -AT. Oh, yeah, let's put Luke on. Tauntaun. Luke on Tauntaun. You don't have your lightsaber right now, though. Well, you do, but it's not on. It's sitting here. Look at this. This is a great little set of micro figures. I just wish we had something to counteract the Millennium Falcon. These two? Great. Perfect. Perfect. Even though in the, you know, in the actual movies, you would never fight an AT-AT -AT on the back of a Tauntaun. But they're on the same planet, so it works. They're in the same movie. It works. I'm okay with it. What I'm not okay with is the fact that we don't have a Death Star or a Star Destroyer or a TIE Fighter. I think a TIE Fighter would have been the best to counteract the Millennium Falcon. Counterpart the Millennium Falcon. Because now the Millennium Falcon just has nobody to fight against. I mean, I guess you could swap out the Tauntaun for the Falcon, but then the Tauntaun's got no one to fight against. Honestly, these are both really cool. The Falcon and the AT-AT are really, really cool. They look great. The amount of detail they got on such a small scale is super impressive, and it's very obvious that this is a Millennium Falcon. I mean, even just the bottom side. The shape is so iconic. So that's not the hardest thing in the world to replicate on a small scale, but this AT-AT... I mean, you look you look at it and immediately you, you know what it is. It's an AT-AT, -AT and it's got, you know, movable legs so you can pose them and stuff, like make them look like he's walking. It's, it's pretty dope. I'm very satisfied with both of those. But this is definitely my favorite. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite micro fighter for 2021. Um, and it's because, honestly, it's not much of a micro fighter like it's pretty to scale to that mini um i mean it's called a micro fighter and it's a buildable character i guess because i'm pretty sure they have tauntauns that are um you know solid pieces like the uh the horses would be or anything else for that matter i like the little bed roll on the back nice touch little arms you can move his little arms it would have been cool to see some kind of like hands on there though with like some kind of like claw but you know it's a micro fighter the face looks great the horns are awesome even though luke is <laughs> looks like he's taking this tauntaun hostage putting the gun to the back of his head let's uh let's relax there buddy he's your guy So there it is. All three 2021 Star Wars Micro Fighters. And uh, I don't have one of the previous Millennium Falcons to compare this to. But I have seen plenty of them in my day. 
Um, I was actually just at my buddy's house the other day, and he had the last one from 2017, I think it was. So if you already have a Millennium Falcon Micro Fighter, you're not going to get a whole lot more out of this one. Uh, the back end is probably the most significant increase in design with these hinged pieces to really get those weird angles on the back and then the, the reverse of the transparent blue ice blue whatever they call it the transparent light blue i believe uh the han solo character is the typical han solo character he doesn't have any cool features um he does it, i mean it, it is a decent han solo he's got the leg printing and the belt and everything on him the vest looks good uh it's the he still has the same problem that all the Han Solos have had recently, which is if this would focus, which it probably won't. Um, actually, you know what? Better idea. Let's go to the other camera. I can get rid of this. Okay, you you can probably not really see it on camera. Um, the color kind of looks the same, at least on my end. But underneath the head of Han Solo on this chest piece, he's got a little bit of skin showing like, like this. And uh, that skin is just white, like pure white. It's not flesh toned like his hands and his face are. And that really should match that that uh that color i don't know why and it's been like this for years they've had plenty of time to correct it but it is it's almost like a gray color when it should be a flesh tone uh, right under his chin it's hard this camera doesn't want to focus but anyway that's the typical complaint for Han solo um as far as the other characters go, you got an AT-AT -AT pilot. It's the same AT-AT -AT pilot that you get with the AT-AT. -AT. Uh, so nothing special there. But if you don't have the AT-AT, -AT, then maybe that's a unique figure for you. And it's a, you know easy, cheap way of getting one. And then the Luke Skywalker Hoth is uh, pretty, pretty typical. It does have a lot of really good printing on it. You can see the leg printing and everything. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. It's got like a textured look to it on the legs. Which is nice. I like that. Uh, no arm printing or anything. Which is fine. I wouldn't really expect it on this character. The helmet looks good. The only complaint, like I said before, is the other face does stick out of the back of that helmet. Um, I don't know why they couldn't just cut that helmet a little lower. Or even just give him one face. Like, it wouldn't be the end of the world if he only had one facial expression. I'd rather that than this. Because this just irks me. And it's very obvious. It's not like I'm nitpicking. It's like, you can see it clear as day. It just looks wrong. So, I, I hope that's something that they address. As well as, like I was saying with that Han Solo. Because there's no excuse for this. Come on, guys. It's just that little little bit of color right there you just got it wrong and oh here's the here's the most frustrating part about that han solo flaw is that when you look in the box he has the flesh tone in that spot see you now it's kind of hard to tell with this light but he actually has the correct flesh tone in that spot on the box so it's I mean, almost like it's false advertising. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far, but like most people probably wouldn't even notice this. But you can see on the box, he's got the skin color underneath his chin, and the uh, actual micro mini figure rather is like white there. Ooh, right there. That's the way it's supposed to be. So it's they they know they must know. They must know they screwed that up. I can't be the only one who's ever, you know, thought about that. I mean, I know I'm not, because I've heard other people complain about it. 
So yeah, that's that's the three micro fighters for 2021 Star Wars. Um, yeah, so I figured I would do this video now because we got May the 4th coming up. Uh, I got the Moss Eisley Cantina that I got to build, uh, hopefully before May 4th, so that I can do a video on May 4th of the Moss Eisley Cantina, which I'm very excited about. I still, I'm kind of in shock still that I have it. It's sitting right in that room. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about micro fighters, and these are great. The, all three of them are awesome. Absolutely absolutely exactly what I expected them to be which is high I have high expectation for Lego so they're great they're awesome um, if you don't have a micro Millennium Falcon already this is a great one to get it's the best one yet if you ask me um, if you already have a micro Millennium Falcon I wouldn't necessarily go crazy getting one of these there's not too much different about it unless you have the really old one in which the stud shooters are definitely an improvement um, to the flick fire thing. And uh, other than that, the AT-AT -AT and the Tauntaun are, are great. They're 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 adorable. They're so cute. Like this can't be a bad guy. Look how cute it is. <laughs> and obviously, what I really liked about the Tauntaun, like I said, was that it's pretty much on the micro, uh, the mini figure scale. Like you could absolutely use this alongside of any of your other play sets and it would fit right in looks great so there it is the 2021 micro fighter lineup for star wars very impressed very happy with all three of them and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you were debating getting any of these hopefully i answered some of your questions maybe i pushed you into or out of either way if I helped you make up your mind, that's why I'm here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And make sure you uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, also, like this video if you didn't enjoy it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like this. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more review style videos shortly. And uh, if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified when I go live because I don't really plan very well and I kind of just do it spur of the moment. So if you don't have that notification thing on, you'll 